Hi everyone, Dr. Group here. The holiday season is in full swing. And for most people, this means parties, family get-togethers, and food. Lots and lots of food. According to the University of Hawaii, most of the weight gain in any given year occurs between October and February. And that makes perfect sense since most holiday meals are loaded with sugar, gluten, alcohol, dairy, processed, boxed, and canned foods. A lot of people look at the holidays as a free pass to pig out, but that's not doing their health any favors. It's taxing to both your mental and physical health. Consumer Reports had a survey on what Americans dread most about the holidays. Weight gain ranked next to going into debt and dealing with crowds. Here are a few health tips to avoid the stress and weight gain, but still enjoy this holiday season. Let's start with the non-alcoholic drink options first. On any given day, the typical American consumes about 450 liquid calories, and it only gets higher during the holiday season. Our liquid consumption starts way before the parties ever begin. In fact, the common holiday shopping staples are often sugary, caffeinated concoctions. A 16-ounce peppermint white chocolate mocha contains syrups, whipped cream, and chocolate that adds up to over 500 calories and 76 grams of sugar. Another major offender is the holiday favorite eggnog. One 16-ounce serving contains about 500 to 800 calories and 40 grams of fat. If you have two servings, you're well above your daily fat allowance. And that's just eggnog. We haven't even gotten to the meal yet. Now I know what you're thinking. What can I do? How can I lower my liquid calories during the holidays but still treat myself? Skip the eggnog and try drinking hot apple cider instead. It's not a freebie, but it's 100 to 150 calories less per serving and doesn't contain all the fat. Dark chocolate cocoa is another substitute. Several long-term studies have found dark chocolate can help lower bad cholesterol and actually increase good cholesterol. Now, on to the alcohol. People tend to drink a lot more during the holidays. There's parties, there's socializing, there's dealing with the in-laws. It happens. I personally do not suggest consuming alcohol due to the effect it has on your liver. However, if you feel that you have to have it, here are some general tips to get you through your next party. Try to limit yourself to only a couple drinks. Calories from alcohol tend to be stored in the abdomen and can lead to massive weight gain. Avoid the mulled wine, hot buttered rum, gin and tonic, and beer. These are the worst possible alcoholic drinks you can possibly have this holiday season. Instead, try red wine. There's no fat and each glass is only about 100 calories. Another good option would be a white wine spritzer with a couple ounces of club soda, some cranberry juice, and lime is another idea. No fat and is only 100 calories per glass. And finally, believe it or not, champagne is not a terrible option. It only has 100 calories and 5 grams of sugar. Now, on to the appetizers. Everyone loves spinach and artichoke dip, but it's loaded with calories, saturated fat, and sodium. Instead, substitute it with hummus, salsa, or bruschetta. If it just won't be Christmas without your favorite dip, use Greek yogurt instead of sour cream in all your recipes. An ounce of sour cream has about 60 calories, while an ounce of non-fat plain Greek yogurt has only 15 to 20 calories. Make the switch. It still tastes great, and chances are no one will even notice. I personally always enjoy a good assortment of raw nuts, raw seeds, and sliced fruit. These are good, nutritious options for the appetizer table. Now it's time for everyone's favorite, the main course. As you probably already know, I'm not a meat advocate and follow a strict vegan diet. 
At my house, we eat different lentil and bean dishes as our source of protein. However, if you feel that you need to have meat as part of your meal, here are some tips to help you make the healthy choice. A good rule of thumb is to simply go for the turkey. Other meats such as ham, pot roast, prime rib contain high calorie counts, high fat, and are often loaded with sodium. Turkey is one of the lowest calorie options you can eat. A three ounce serving of skinless turkey breast has about 120 calories and only one gram of fat. Millions of people eat their turkey with a good size helping of gravy smothered on top. Now this sort of defeats the purpose of choosing the healthy option. Because gravy mix is loaded with MSG and contains an unreal amount of sodium. I suggest skipping the gravy altogether. But if you must have a gravy, go ahead and try making a natural gravy instead. Gravy is also often placed on mashed potatoes and stuffing. Naturally, potatoes are a good source of nutrients and not that high in calories. The problem is when they're prepared with butter, whole milk, cream, and cheese. You start with a vegetable and end up with a fat and calorie bomb. If you want a healthier option, try oven roasted sweet potatoes brushed with a little olive oil. Stuffing is another must-have holiday food, but usually it's made with a lot of butter, fat, oil, margarine, and is high in fat and calories. And then gravy is often added to the equation. If it's made inside the turkey, you get added fat from the drippings, the calorie count can just become ridiculous. Skip the store-bought junk and make your own stuffing from scratch. Another holiday swap you can do is to switch out your green bean casserole for some fresh roasted or boiled green beans. Finally, we're on to the dessert round. Pecan pie is considered a holiday necessity by many. But did you know that the typical slice will set you back 500 calories, 27 grams of fat, and 15 teaspoons of refined sugar? Then, if you add a scoop of vanilla ice cream, forget it. Now you're pushing a thousand calories on dessert alone. Another dessert that has gained popularity in recent years is cheesecake. Everyone loves it, but man, is it a calorie bomb. One slice can have upwards of 700 calories and nearly 30 grams of fat. And that's a plain piece. We're not even counting the different flavors and toppings. The best route to go after your holiday meal is fresh fruit. A nice mixed fruit tray with a lot of variety can be a great delicious alternative. All sweet, all nutritious, and all problem free. So those are a few of the tips and ideas for making your holiday meal a little more healthy, a little less unhealthy. Regardless of what you decide to eat this holiday season, here are some more healthy eating tips. First and foremost, moderation is key. Just because it's Christmas, it isn't a free pass to pig out. A lot of people don't eat breakfast on the day of the feast. This is a huge no. Going to the buffet table extra hungry just makes you more likely to overeat. If you do overdo it, just make sure you've got oxy powder on hand. Your health doesn't stop with your nutrition. Make sure that this holiday season you also get plenty of sleep, make sure to get some exercise, and avoid stress. I know that this is easier said than done, but remember, you can always find a quiet spot, do some deep breathing exercises, meditate, and think to yourself, the in-laws are going home tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a great holiday season. Thanks for watching. For more information and tips on healthy living, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would like to learn more about our high quality, all natural and vegan health products, please visit our store at globalhealingcenter.com.